university. I mean, since I was a little kid, I always wanted to. I, I was always attracted to computers. Like. Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Wakila, and today I am going to talk about Frejus, a computer security specialist, and he's going to share his experience as an international student living in the UK. I hope you will like the video. My name is Lebnis Yonse, 27 year old and a computer networking security specialist. Um, I've been in the UK for about three years now and well, let's dive into my life. And my background was telecommunication engineering. So uh, when I graduated from that, I started working in the telecommunication industry. And when I started thinking about doing a master's, it was obvious like, uh, it was just obvious I wanted to do something, you know, related to networking, uh, wireless networking, uh, wireless communication. So yeah, uh, I started doing my research and um, I decided to do something related to security and that, that's just it. So why in the UK? Well, it's a funny story because um, it was not really part of the plan. I actually wanted, when the idea of doing a master's degree came into my mind, I wanted to go to America or Canada or something like that. Because at first I wanted to do something uh, in, in English because it, uh, it's easier for me to learn in English than in French, which is a bit weird since I'm from a French speaking country. But since my undergraduate and my job uh, everything was in English. Even when I started working in Benin, I was talking more English at work than French. So it was just normal that I wanted to do something in English. And uh, my first options were US and Canada. But back in that time, I got in touch with a friend of mine. We did the undergraduate program together and uh, she was in the UK. So she told me a little bit about the country, how it is, how accessible it is. So I think it's more about, it's, it was more about the accessibility that made me come into, into this country. And uh, yeah, here I am. Since I came here, the first thing I noticed was actually the, you know, the driving side because here they drive on the left side on the road. And even though I knew it, um, since I was a kid, actually, like, yeah, in England, they drive in the left side of the road. You have to really experience it to know how it feels. So it was the first shock, I would say, when I came into this country. Um, when you're crossing the road, it's always the opposite way of like when you were back in, you know, in Africa and everything. And when you're in the car, the wheel is on the other side. So it's, it looks really weird. The second shock I actually had in this country was the, the interaction between generation because back home, you know, when you are addressing an older person, you call them like sir, ma'am, like, you know, Mr. Madame and everything. So here, what I noticed was calling them by their first name. And it was really weird because where I came from, we don't do that. It's, it's a sign of disrespect, but here is totally normal. So all the professors I've had and no matter they are, you know, they are, they are level, if they are like PhD or, you know, professors and everything, we're like calling them by their first name, which is totally normal here. So it took me a lot of time to get used to it. Third thing that actually shocked me is the way they speak, like they say please in every sentence, like saying please, like literally um, in every sentence. And apparently when you don't say that, they actually get offended. So sometimes you like you know when you're when when you back in africa there's some stuff you say without even saying please but you we sort of understand each other but here is something like you have to say so yeah all these you know little changes made well uh, sorry all these little changes were really you know took me a lot it took me a little bit of time to get used to this you know change how just it connected with my home country while living here. I mean, obviously, um, by social network, uh, you know, WhatsApp, um, Facebook, calls, because internet is really um, inexpensive here, sort of. So yeah, uh, 
I uh, haven't been home since I've been the uh, been I haven't been <laughs> sorry <laughs> so I haven't been home uh, since I came here so yeah the only way I speak to my family was through phone calls you know internet social media and yeah there we are <laughs> anything else